Thank you for joining us here on the Saturday News at 5. I'm Shira Matzazow, and we begin with breaking news out of Fruitland. That's where multiple law enforcement agencies are at a home right now. Fruitland police say it's all in connection with the search for missing Fruitland boy, Michael Vaughn. And this is where that search is happening. Take a look at a map there. It's at a home in Fruitland, just about four minutes away from Michael's home. Our crews on scene say it's just across the street in another neighborhood. Law enforcement search and rescue crews digging through a backyard behind me. You can see a piece of the fence removed over there as well as a tree cut down. They've been using heavy machinery to dig in that backyard and Fruitland Police Chief J.D. Huff confirms they are searching for Michael Vaughn's remains. They got a very credible lead as he called it that led them to this backyard and again we saw that heavy machinery working earlier. We actually went into the backyard of this house behind us to look at that and, and you know Alex when they stopped using that that heavy machinery. There were several people in that backyard just kind of sitting there. It was eerily quiet. Uh, Chief Huff telling us that they've been out here since last night. Uh, tell us what else we know. Well, Morgan Huff said that they haven't found anything as of now, but they're going to keep searching and excavating for his remains. They obtained a search warrant to search the premises. They came out here um, at 930 this morning to start over again. Um, and, you know, Idaho State Police, Idaho uh, Search and Rescue have been out here along with the Fruitland Police Department. They have canines in the backyard. And, you know, they said in a press conference earlier this summer that a lead had put, placed them back into the Fruitland area. Yeah, and at this time, you know, again, they have not found anything, but Chief Huff telling us that they are going to be out here for as long as it takes. They're going to be out here well into the evening. And since Michael Vaughn disappeared back on July 27th, 2021, they have received around 1,200 leads. They have cleared many of them. Some of them, like this one, considered very credible. Chief Huff also telling us that a couple lives inside that home that we're showing you. And he says right now he doesn't know of any connection that he's aware of between the Vaughn family and this couple who lives inside the home. But as we were out here in this neighborhood earlier speaking with several neighbors, they told us they haven't seen anything like this in their neighborhood. They're really shocked. Take a listen. I've been in Plymouth at a family thing and I came home and my wife called me and said, yeah, there's something going on behind the house. I live over off a block behind them. Okay. Um, and I had heard some activity over there. He said he heard activity, and that's what we heard when we were out here earlier, too. Alex, you've been out here since around 1 o'clock this afternoon. What else did you see? Um, you know, neighbors' homes have already been searched. The neighbor we talked to said that his home was already searched. He allowed them into their home. They searched his garage. They searched everything. Um, and he told me that they might have been, they showed him a picture of a scooter, a kid's scooter, mm -hmm. and they might have been looking for that. And that's what he thought, you know, he found very interesting mm -hmm. was that they, he, he said he hadn't seen it. And as Shira said earlier, the parents' home only four minutes away, and that is the area on Southwest 9th Street in Fruitland where Michael Vaughn, also affectionately referred to as Monkey, was last seen. And as we've been covering this story, there have been searches across the country, his picture, his information on the side of semi-trucks all over the country just searching for him. And the fact that we are back here just four minutes away from the parents' home, uh, perhaps looking for his remains, as Chief Huff said, just shows, uh, you know, how close to home this situation really was. Uh, we will continue to stay out here all evening and we will continue to keep updated on air and online. You can follow both Alex and I on Twitter and go to KTVB.com to le read more about that background information. Here we have ISP and Fruitland Police searching um, a backyard of a uh, home in Fruitland. Um, they have a dump truck, the chief, uh, Chief Huff told me. Um, and there's crime scene tape all across here, um, down into this area, this grassy area right here. Um, the fire department just left, I think, um, and they have, you can see they have the whole fence taken out right here. There's a dump truck back there.